Hi everybody, it's Claire. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited. You guys are here with me in my new apartment. Oh, everything's new. Everything's new. Fire alarm or my laundry. My laundry's done. It's all good. I could not be happier with the setup. Just moved in have purchased a lot of new stuff. I just have like a whole new theme going on. This lighting, this lighting. So as I've been hitting up these home decor stores, I've popped into some clothing stores and here we are with a fashion haul, which I haven't done in forever, so I owe one to you guys. And here we go. The first thing I wanna talk about that I've been wearing and loving like crazy is this bag from BP and Nordstrom. This is my preference style for a handbag. Large oversized ones. I didn't get my first one till last year, designer handbag, and I barely even use it because it's just too big for me. I've already stuffed so much crap in here. Melt to a random dress in here. Definitely my favorite gum from Extra. Checkbook that I paid for the movers. Harper's prescription for his food. I've been wearing it every day. It goes with everything. I love the chain. It's sturdy and it has a zipper at the top too, so no one can reach into my bag, especially if you're traveling to Europe very friendly for that and not friendly to pickpocketers. These I'll grab next. They remind me of the sunglasses in BP that are $12. Um, I actually got this from a place called Altered State. We just got a new store called Altered State in um, my mall, my local mall in Virginia. Tyson's Corner. Woo -woo. It's a really cute store. Um, they're based in Knoxville, Tennessee. Um, and these were just some really cheap um, Ray-Bans that I've been wanting this kind of color, but I actually really like the shape and the fit. I was super happy with them. We'll see how long they last. These are kind of just, I like to have a cheap pair for summer in case I'm going, you know, kind of just if I'm on a boat or something, which I really hope I'm on a boat. I kind of bought these with like, yeah, if I'm on a boat this summer and if I encounter that situation, I'm just, now I have to make a plan to wear those on the boat. I really just wanted green sunglasses, let's be real. Next, let's talk about ASOS. I'm talking about ASOS. I am obsessed with that website right now. I was never a big shopper there and or online. Now I, I go every day. I picked up this belt that I'm seeing a lot on a lot of Instagram fashion bloggers that I follow. This belt I swear like my mom had back in the day. I feel like everything is just coming back in style but the really statement um, belt loop uh, with some detailing on it really makes a difference with like a plain tee and distressed jeans It's kind of amazing what this little silver section can do for an outfit. I'm telling you with some like basic Basic simple earrings everything this kind of ties every everything together And it's kind of like that Western style looking belt and it's super affordable. It's like $20 It's probably my third belt in my closet really really crazy. I know speaking of crazy This is probably the craziest purchase I have ever made they came in the mail on a Tuesday on Wednesday night I had a taco night with my friends for my friend's birthday literally a taco bar. I busted out these proof I've been wearing them gum dirt Hopefully not dog shit. I believe they're called Ocean Point Toad um, Faux Snake Shoes. And these right now are half off. They're a thick platform heel, so they're very comfortable. But this color you can match anything with, a t-shirt. I don't know why I like these so much. I've been wanting a really wide brim Panama hat and I found one from uh, Revolve by Brixton. This one's nice because it doesn't suffocate my head. What I've learned about hat shopping is that I have a very large head. Put straight forward, just I have a large head. So now I really look at the sizing on hats, which sounds so silly, but really make sure you're getting one that's that's large enough so you don't have that pressure style headache that's pretty brutal. This one is 58 centimeters. It feel, feels so good on my head, which sounds so weird, but I have some like head trauma from other hats, head hat trauma. But I like this more for beach. I'm not really sure of the size where I can get away with this. Maybe you guys let me know if this is like walk like for lunch if it's too big I know floppy hats are larger for the beach this is kind of like in between a fedora and a floppy hat and I'm still getting used to it I really like it with my new short hair I like the wide brim because it does cover my face from the sun because I have become so afraid of the sun with my new onset of melasma I try to just avoid the big hot yellow thing in the air I just like 
stay away. I got one in white as well because I wasn't sure between the two, so maybe you guys could help me decide. I got this one from Madewell. My boyfriend said I look like a detective in it, and I kind of like that. I had this in Ray Bans on and then like black, so I kind of did like have that persona of a detective. This one overall had the best ratings online. This one was more expensive than the Brixton one, which I was actually surprised about. So maybe you guys can tell me between the two which sizing is more fitting to me, because I honestly still don't know. I'm still getting used to the idea of Panama hats and fedoras. I'm still wearing um, Washington Nationals baseball caps like every day, so I'm trying to graduate to a more feminine look. Forgot to mention that I the shirt I'm wearing is also part of the deal here. I have this from Topshop. I apologize if this is like kind of see-through. I don't have a cam on right now. Just to show you guys the general idea, I love this shirt. I think it came in one other color as well um, from Topshop. It's just a simple button down. I like these. They're just really light and airy for summer. Two pockets. It's that nice really kind of blush color that's super in right now and you're seeing everywhere. I'm addicted to this color. Um, so I want, I actually have, I think two more things this color coming your way, but yeah, just really simple tee. Um, I still have the tag on cause I'm going to link everything for you guys below if I find it with the product numbers. But, um, I love these kind of V-necks and just really loose fitting. So again, cause they're light and they look really good with jeans or shorts. They're just simple and beachy. So that I got from Topshop in Nordstrom, which I prefer to get Topshop through Nordstrom if I can, just because I have access to a Nordstrom in real life if I need to go in and return it. And the return policy is so good, or if something happens, I can go to the Nordstrom, which is like a comfort zone for me. I love Topshop in Nordstrom now, and it's just amazing to be able to shop more, uh, Topshop in real life. I hit a loft and I got a few things from there. I got these um, kind of roll up, they're like the most super comfortable, uh, like, are they considered denim? They're, it's denim, but it's kind of like a really soft denim. They even have these rolled up, so you can kind of wear them like capris or just as regular jeans. I thought this was a pretty blush color, and they're really comfortable. It's not like a sexy pant by any means. It's definitely like I look put together, but I could like probably take a nap in these. Sale section was bomb and loft. It had the sale price, which was half off the retail price, and it was 50% off of that yesterday. Like, don't avoid loft sales section. It was like dirt cheap when I got to the register, and I love this ruffle. Again, a blush top, again, obsessed. So it kind of starts out basic, and bam! So cute, I feel like with jeans, like skinny jeans, and uh, like a little open toe heel with a clutch. I already have this all thought out. Another 50% off sale item, this beautiful color, which hopefully is showing up. It's like this really soft lavender. I just thought it was so pretty for a spring night. I am going to the beach soon to the Outer Banks in North Carolina in about a month. And so I wanted like some light sweaters for nighttime and it's super duper thin. Um, I'll try to see if I can find this in the um, on their website because I think they come in different colors and this is like the perfect uh, texture and lightweightness for nighttime in a hotter time of year. So that was really hard to say. I like everything a little bit bigger so I always go a size up but this is just a really beautiful blue color. I can't even tell you, it just made my skin like, I looked like five shades tanner when I put this on. It was just like a really flattering shade. It's just this very pretty um, purple blue color. Is it blue or gold? Oh my god, I feel like it's like the dress. The fabric of it was really what really got me and I think I was wearing the right thing when I was trying things on yesterday. I had my hair done and then I had like my flattering jeans on. When I look put together in the dressing room, I buy more, but I need to go more when I, it's like the realness of what I look like most likely is a top knot bun and no makeup on and I find I buy less when I'm in a dressing room, obviously, because I don't feel as put together. So I had my hair done yesterday and that is why I bought more. I think there's a correlation. So that's going to wrap up this fashion haul. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. I'm going to try to link everything I can in the description box below, of course, for you guys. Let me know if you have any questions at all for me. This is my new place now and this is, uh, I would love to know your feedback too on the setup. I might be filming a lot here just because the lighting is so good. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!